Hi everyone, this is Imran here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video training, I'll be showing you a WordPress Download Manager plugin. The name of the plugin is also WordPress Download Manager and using this plugin, you can allow your users or visitors to download any free file. Say for example, you would like to provide a free PDF website or any image to your followers. You can do that. Even you can sell any digital items through your website using this plugin. It's a complete package to manage your file on WordPress website. So let's get to be started. What I'm going to do now, you will find a link in the video description. If you click on that link, you will be sent here. And here you can see download free. Just click on this green button to download the plugin and it's 3.2 megabyte file and it will be downloaded soon i have downloaded it okay and it's in my download folder here it is now i'm going to introduce you my demo website here it is and i'm going to access to dashboard okay just click on dashboard from the dashboard on the left side you can see plugins and i'm going to click to add new okay now here you can see upload plugins just click on upload plugins and now i'm going to just drag and drop this plugin file or you can just browse your hard disk where you have downloaded the plugin file it's not a big deal just i like this way i'm just going to drag and drop here now you can see the file is selected now i'm going to click on install now hit activate plugin okay the plugin has been installed and activated successfully now if you look over here on the left sidebar menu and here you can see a new menu called downloads and it has several sub menus all files add new tags categories etc okay i think if you have worked with any plugin then you will have the idea what's going on just click on all files And here you will find all the files you have added as it's a fresh installation I haven't added any data so that's why it is and if you want to add any downloadable file then click add new okay I'll show you everything one by one so now I'm going to show you how to add a new downloadable file just click on add new now here goes title just you will title the file you would like to offer your visitors I'm going to offer a download our PDF file so I'm going to title it WooCommerce PDF tutorial okay the title is WooCommerce PDF tutorial and here I'll just add some description okay and here goes some dummy description i'm going to use this description just post here and on the right side here you can see atos file here goes the main playground no file is uploaded yet so if you want to upload a file manually just click on this button if you would like to add any file that you have already uploaded to your server then you can just navigate to the respective folder or if you want to add any external file say for example you might use any file from Dropbox you will be able to add any file from Dropbox Google Drive or OneDrive that's pretty easy what you will do just uh, add the link here or URL here okay so I'm going to upload a file manually so just click select file and i'm going to navigate to the file okay i'm going to add this file sample pdf just click and here you can see it has been added you can choose any from these three options okay now scroll down here you can see tags you can add some tags just like wordpress blog post you can add tags just uh, WooCommerce click on add 
PDF add okay and categorize this if you would like you can create any category or you can add existing category so it's a fresh installation I don't have much data so I'm going to add a category I'm going to name it tutorial just a PDF tutorial okay then hit add new category I'm using extra theme so this setting is from extra theme if you are using any different WordPress theme then you may not see this okay this setting isn't from this plugin just uh, leave this now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to work with this part now I'm going to check the fields on the left and here goes discussion if you would like to allow comments on this downloadable file page you can allow it or you can disallow it and here goes package settings and what's inside it just the version number I think you can you are familiar with the version number of any digital application or any book so uh, I think the version is 1.1 something like this and link level what will be the level of the link I mean the name of the file so I'm going to label it WooCommerce tutorial okay and the file size here you can see the file size is just uh, 621 kilobyte I'm going to make it 1 megabyte and stroke limit you can make it to 5 10 20 whatever you want and view count you can count the view and download count and okay allow access who should be able to download you can just mention here you can allow it to all user or subscriber contributor or administrator just all users and select paste template okay here goes some paste template but I'm going to work with default template now on the right you can see another tab that's lock option and that's lock options and on the right here you can see another tab and that's lock options just click on it here you will find three different options to lock your content say for example must agree with terms and conditions the user will be unlock the content if they only agree with your terms and you can what should I say you can password protect your data or file or you can enable captcha lock okay so I think password lock would be great sometimes at the moment I'm going to leave blank and another one is icons here you can see my file is a PDF file so if I use any PDF icon then the user will get solid idea about the file they will download so here you can see uh, different icons and you can choose any icon from here just click on this icon it's a PDF icon and here you can add fissured image just this image and hit publish okay now I have attached a downloadable file to a new downloads so if you click on all download files here you can see it you can view it and just here it is download WooCommerce tutorial if anybody click on it then here you can see it's downloadable okay now if you would like to sell 
any digital item say for example this pdf tutorial if you would like to sell it then what you will have to do just come over here and here you can see active digital store options if you click on that link and your system will become a digital store you will find the options of a digital store by now uh, you can just offer free downloadable files to your visitors but if you want to sell then click here activate digital store options congratulations your digital store is activated just click on this button to refresh the page okay now you can see another new tab is added here and it's called price pricing and discounts here you can add the product code i'm just going to add any random code and here you can add the price of the product just if you want you can set it to $25 and sell price will be 20 if you would like to offer any discount and I mean how long this price will be validated just valid until December 31 31st December okay and okay if you check this box then the base price will be treated as the minimum amount and you can activate extra gigs just uh, if you are familiar with Fiverr then you can see you can add something extra to this item just gig group okay okay you can add any free downloadable file also and here you can see role based discount you can add role based discount or you can also here okay here you can add some free downloadable files that will be hooked to this item and just you can enable licensing say for example if you add any plugin and if you want to enable licensing then you can check this box and here you can see license name standard license and you can enable the price according to the licensing and licensing key will be required a standard will be the base price and extended you can just set any amount of price 30 40 okay role based discount you can add different types of discount to different users for customers you can just declare the discount amount here for author editor administrator that's all that's all you could understand this has a lots of setting options so just try they are straightforward you can just read and work so finally what I'm going to do just hit update button and now if I and now if I visit this post again and here you can see the minimum price and add to cart button so click on add to cart and here goes the checkout page cart page and just pay through PayPal pay now that's cool okay so i'm going to click on this all files and here you can see our short code using this short code you can display this downloadable file anywhere in your website i'm going to copy this short code now i'm going to visit this website and my this home page is built with elementor page builder if you are not familiar with Elementor page builder, 
I will drop the link of Elementor tutorial of my channel. Just click click edit with Elementor and say for example here I will add this shortcode. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to search for shortcode and just drag and drop here. Now I'm going to paste this shortcode here. And here you can see pretty nice so what we could learn by this time that we can add any downloadable file using add new field under downloads and we will get a short code we will be able to um, add price if you would like to sell like uh, any digital store then we can also use the short code to any part of our website that's cool i'm going to click here to view the page now here it is okay i'm not going to add any more downloadable file but here you can see it will take time actually so now what I'm going to do, check the tags, I have added the tags and categories, I have added these categories and templates, here goes several templates, add-ons. This plugin has a lot of add-ons and also some free add-ons, Dropbox Explorer. Google Drive Explorer, these are free. And check the history. On download, just click on here. Who downloaded and the IP address, date. And go to the settings now. And the basic setting, the permission denied message for the package. And here goes server file browser or server file base directory you can change anytime but leave the value default but leave the default value and here you can see file sanitization sanitize the file name and chunk upload if you would like to upload any big size of file then you can also upload and file download speed limit you can control the file download speed you can block any specific ITP address you can set message for the blocked IPs okay and one important thing is re resumable downloads and here you can see resumable downloads some uh, say for example someone tried to download a file from your site but on the way they just say for example disconnected from the internet but they won't be able to download it from where they left but if you enable it then they will be able to download they won't have to download it from the beginning okay just miscellaneous settings you can select any page for download you can select any page for registration you can just select any page for dashboard or you can manually add this shortcut to any page and here goes orders and here goes the order dashboard and license manager just click here add new here you can add any licensing key okay and coupon codes you can add any coupon and payouts payout settings i hope you could understand how to work with this plugin and if this video helped you don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and i would like to see you in the next video